Hello and welcome to this lesson on variation. We will be looking at inherited and environmental variation in this lesson and seeing that it's important for the survival of a species. So we're going to be looking as a main objective at what inherited characteristics are. Now characteristics are physical features of plants or animals and they can be inherited coming from your parents or environmental coming from your surroundings and the decisions that you choose to make. So if we have a look at David Beckham here, we can see some of his characteristics. He's got brown hair, he's got brown eyes, he's got pale skin, he's got tattoos, and he's got two arms, he's got a nose, he's got two eyes. All of those things count as characteristics. So your first task is to copy this table into your book or onto a piece of paper and write down your characteristics for each of these things and the characteristics of one of your family members. Choose someone who you are at home with at the moment. Okay, pause the video if you need some extra time to copy this down. Okay, so we've got here the Weasley family. How do we know they're related? Well, they've got freckles, green eyes, pale skin and red hair. All of those are characteristics that they share in common. Here we've got another family tree. They are related and so they share certain similar characteristics like similar hair colour, similar eye colour. Shared family characteristics are inherited from your parents. Um, so why don't all family members look exactly alike? Why are identical twins more similar than brothers and sisters? Well, that's due to the fact that variation can be environmental as well as um, inherited. Okay, People are similar but not identical to their parents and siblings. The differences within the species are what we call variation. And people inherit characteristics from both parents and each parent person gets a different combination of features. And we call that inherited variation. Other characteristics are affected by a person's surroundings, and that's what we call environmental variation. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is copy this Venn diagram into your book, and we're going to classify some types of variation as inherited, environmental, or both. So start by copying this down. Pause the video for a minute if you need to. Right, now I'd like you to sort these different characteristics into your Venn diagram. So put them in the appropriate slot as to whether they're inherited, environmental or in the middle if they are both. Again, pause the video if you need some extra time. Okay, so let's take a look at that Venn diagram and where we're going to put each of those features. So if we start with height, height we know can be inherited from our parents. Tall parents are likely to have taller children but it also depends on your diet. So that's actually both inherited and environmental. Eye colour, however, is just inherited. Okay, there's no impact from environmental factors. Hair colour can be both. You can inherit your hair colour, but you can also dye your hair or bleach it. So that makes it environmental. Your weight depends on your genes, but it also depends on what you're eating. Your blood group depends only on your genes, but if you've put it down as both because people who've had stem cell transfusions can get a change in blood group, then give yourself a tick. Inherited tongue rolling, whether you can huh? And environmental ear piercing. No one is born with pierced ears. Okay, then of course inherited diseases are obviously going to go into the inherited section. Okay, there's a little task on front of you to do. Good luck.